Right, walking along Polienti, I have just found myself a hotel. You'll have to wait to find out what that hotel is later on in the video. But as I'm walking along Polienti Beach, I've come across a couple of viewers. I do have James, James, and Cheers. Hazel from County Durham, Spending Miller. There we go. They're here on a holiday, obviously. Uh, let's get this in a focus now so that you can see a proper you both in. Uh, when did you arrive? Uh, today. 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 I've just come to a few people and they've only arrived today. Um, how long are you here for? Uh, seven, seven nights. Seven nights and hotel? A hotel Tarota. Tarota. It's a family run hotel, only three stories high, with a big swimming pool, very nice to stay. Easy view of the hotel, here. Yeah. <laughs> Move it a bit, Phil. Move it a little bit onto this. So, is it a nice hotel? It's lovely. It's saved nice up now, everything saves nice up now. Uh, we've seen Woody Bain here, two hours. Is it sort of in the old town? It's sort of that way and up the bank. So we're on Polly Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's out, it's out, it's anybody's got a family, it's Lovely, lovely. I have a family kids, yeah. Right. Been to Benidorm before? It's our fifth time. I think we've got another twice in all this year yeah. as well. See, we've got viewers on the channel that have actually said they'd never come to Benidorm and they've been watching the videos and they're sort of a woman and are now. I tell you, if you've never been to Benidorm, give it a go. Would you recommend it? Yes. Oh, definitely the best place. Give it a go. If you don't like it, then you don't come back again. Exactly. But I recommend that if you come to Benidorm, there is something for everyone. Would you say that? Of course, that? he is. Entertainment. You only have to tell you. Right, I'm moving on. I'm actually going to get booked into this hotel now. As I said, I was walking along Polienti Beach and I didn't have a clue where to stay and I just spotted this one. If you want to see where the hotel is, watch the video. Okay. I'll catch you again. Say Adios. bye, -bye. <laughs> From Hazel and... James. Catch you in the next one. Bye. Hello and welcome back to another video. As you know, I'm in Benidorm. I'm on the Ponienti side of Benidorm and I'm doing a series of hotels. The difference with these hotels is I've not actually booked any rooms, so I don't really know where I'm going. So this is the second hotel on the Ponienti side I've decided to review. Walking along from the previous one, which was the Marconi Hotel, I come across this one behind me. It's called the Casual Pop Art. So I did a quick Google search. The room is available. I've decided to pick a room with a sea view, but it's board only. So there's no food included in this hotel. You can add on breakfast for a charge of six euro fifty cents. I might do that in the morning. I'm not 100% certain, but I'm already booked in. I've had to wait, by the way, a couple of hours because I arrived very early, but the receptionist took my phone number and she just rang me to tell me the room is available. So let's check out this hotel. It's the casual pop art on the Ponienti side of Benidorm. Check-in was dead easy, uh, signature, passport, and I had to pay at the hotel. You book online, but you pay direct to the hotel. I'm on the fourth floor, room 401. Now straight away, I've got to say, I love the room straight away. It's quirky, it's unusual, it's different. Let's have a look around. Straight away when you come in the door, you do have your card slot to activate the electricity. You don't have a wardrobe in this room. You do have open hanging space and storage space. Your suitcase stand with a safe 
and some storage. You do have a little cupboard and some drawers for storage and you do have a fridge. Now looking at this straight away, I haven't even entered the room, but I love it straight away. I just love the theme and the cartoon look of the room. We have a Batman bed straight across. Now I booked a double room. I've been given this room, so I don't know exactly what room I've got. I've not actually walked in yet. I can see a single bed, a Batman bed ahead. Now, I don't know what to expect. Wow. I've got this humongous that's not a double bed i don't even know what size that bed is i have a huge batman bed oh i just love it i love it it's quirky i just love the room a huge television you have a little writing desk with a chair these metal cabinets that are used as bedside tables with the lamps on top i love it I love it. And I know I booked a Sea View Hotel. I can see, sneaking through that curtain, the Sea View. There's the ensuite. I'll get to that in a second. So we do have a large mirror. I don't know why I've got this extra bed in the room. I can't remember booking this room, but I've got it anyhow for the price. So your single bed. I, I just, um, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I didn't expect this. I knew the hotel was quirky, but I did not expect this. I love it straight away. Try and get a longer shot of the bed. Look with the wow. It's just cartoony type of room. Apparently each room is a different decor. So I love, I mean, what is that bed? That's gotta be a super king. It has to be a super king. Please put down in the comments, what size is this bed? As I said, you've got a desk, your chair, and you do have quite a large TV. Three side tables. You've got one there, one over there, bedside tables, and one here with the single bed. I just, I love it. I actually love this room. Let's check the bed. Again, pillow protectors, as you can see. I don't want to disturb this bed, but I have to. Sheets, as you can see, are fully creased where they've been ironing them, so you know they're fresh. And then, spotlessly clean. Let's pull back this sheet to see if it reveals a match. Yes, there we go, a mattress protector as well. Straight away, I can't fault this room. When I was booking this room, I noticed that they had a selection of various rooms. Some were pointing towards the city. I think some were pointing towards the courtyard. But I booked this room because of the sea view. And just look at this sea view. Got a good sized balcony with two chairs and a table. But just look at this view. We're on the Ponienti side of Benidorm. And you can see right up, that's Califinistrat. Right up, you can see Peacock Island in the distance there. And the old town of Benidorm. And if you look at that little peak sticking out there, that's called the Balcon del Mediterraneo. What a fabulous view. I've got one more room to check, which is the ensuite. The hotel itself doesn't have a bar. It has a small lounge. And I asked, was there a swimming pool? I thought it might have had a swimming pool on the roof like the last hotel I did. And she said, yes, they've got a swimming pool. And she pointed out to the Mediterranean Sea. She went, that's the biggest swimming pool you'll ever find. Can't argue with that, really. Right outside the door is the Med. Beautiful. 
anyhow, let's check out the ensuite. I'm a little bit stunned, I didn't expect that for a bathroom. I love it. Black and white theme, obviously. Your toilet, let's have a little check. Nice and clean. We do have the hairdryer. I just love it, love it. Got your mirror, your sink, a comb, vanity kit and tissues. And I love this walk-in shower. Let me spin around that way to show you. Love that shower. Got gel and shampoo. Let me try and do a long shot of the bathroom again so you can see it. I love it. I absolutely love this room. For the price I paid, I know it's board only, but I think this is well worth the price. Now I could say, let's look at the rest of the hotel, but as I said, there's not much more to show. So I'm gonna pay in the morning, six euro 50 cents for the breakfast and see what you get for that price. So I'll see you in the morning. Good morning from the Casual Pop Art Hotel here on the Ponienti side of Benidorm. Well, it's not actually the hotel. I'm in the cafe next door called Refuel. Um, I was on an R yesterday about having breakfast in the hotel and I was told that it's an extra charge if you do want it of €6.50. But I had a quick look at what it was and it was basically a continental breakfast, a little bit of cereal, a croissant, a coffee and a fruit juice. And I thought, now I fancy a full English, so I've come to the refuel bar, which is directly next door to the hotel, to have my full English breakfast. Uh, the hotel itself, my verdict on the hotel, I love it. Love the hotel totally. I obviously only see my room, but apparently every room in the hotel has a different cartoon theme. I was in the Batman room, obviously. I paid for a sea view. The hotel itself is basic. They don't have a swimming pool, they don't have a bar. Uh, they do have the restaurant, as I say, if you want to pay for a breakfast and go in the restaurant, uh, but I chose not to. So the room itself, nice spacious room. I had a massive bed. That bed was huge. I couldn't believe the size of it. Really good night's sleep. Again, because I'm on the front overlooking the Mediterranean, I had the windows wide open so I could hear the waves crashing all night long. The uh, bathroom, lovely, huge walk-in shower, plenty of hot water. Wi-Fi, quick connection, um, and the television. I did a search through the TV. Unfortunately, there was only BBC News, so it's all Spanish channels. Accessibility, the hotel is up about seven steps, but they do have a chairlift to get you into the hotel. Then everything else is lifts that will take you around. I absolutely loved it. Love the hotel totally. The quirkiness, the location. As I say, you, you're on the beach. My balcony looking out at the Mediterranean, beautiful view, and I would definitely stay there again. But what you want to know is the price. Now, as I said, I paid for two people to be in that room, even though it was only me. So the price I'm giving you is based on two people sharing, board only, no food, nothing included except the room. And I paid £55. Now, that's the same price for two people. 
I think £55, quite cheap when you're half that. What's that? £27.50 each? If my maths is right. £27.50 each to be on the seafront. Okay, it is midweek and that price will probably go up as we get towards the weekend. So I'm going to leave this one with you. What do you think of the hotel? Have you seen it? Have you gone past it? Have you wondered what the hotel would be like? The casual pop art. It's basically about five minutes walk away from the old town. So as I said, tell me what you think. The hotel, what do you think about the fact that the hotel doesn't have a pool, doesn't have a bar? But as the receptionist told me yesterday, she said they wanted to go for a swim, that they do have a massive pool just across the road. It's called the Mediterranean. I thought that was hilarious. Anyhow, handing it over to you. Put down in the comments. Would you like to stay at the hotel? Would you like to visit Benetton? I'll catch you in the next one. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, a like, share, hit that notification bell. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. And bye for now.